All right, we are at the Velisca Axe Murder House. There's Steve. Woo, Steve, what do you think? What's your uh, initial impressions of the Axe Murder House? My initial impressions, I, I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting something like really isolated, and it turns out there's like neighbors all around me so we can go get a cup of sugar. But now that we're in the actual house, it's really cool. Uh, we have the perfect weather for uh, yes. the, the yes. adventure tonight. And uh, I, I don't believe in ghosts, but I think Josh does, so yeah. I'm going to fuck with him as much as I possibly can. That's a great idea. I support <laughs> that idea entirely. Now, what we uh, we just got unpacked, so what, what the viewers are not seeing, you can see it's raining, but it just hailed something crazy fierce. And there's DJ. DJ, what are your first initial impressions of the Axe Murder House? It's kind of, it's mediocre. I'm not, I'm not super excited about it. It's like a house in the middle of this town next to a nursing home. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. You keep that in mind when the ghosts get you tonight. Josh, what What are your initial impressions of the Axe Murder House? I'm excited. I think it's going to be cool. We'll see. I don't want to hang out here by myself. Yeah, you do. But, uh... Each one of us has to spend some time by ourselves. There's some cool house. stuff in here, though. It's small. It's more than I thought it would be. Jeff. Yes. Uh, what are your initial impressions of the Axe Murder House? Uh, I, I'm still pretty skeptical about how, how cool anything's going to be. Uh, <laughs> primary motivation for coming on this trip is just to hang out with friends for for an overnight thing and have, have a good time doing that, Jeff which I'm sure will happen and it'll be a great time. Jeff wants to know when Uno and Poker yeah. the, the house itself, um, I'm not super impressed with yet, although I will say um, <laughs> the, the, the tour guide woman who brought us in here, you know, all the lights are off and it's pretty dark even though it's still early in the daytime now, it's overcast and storming. Uh, she sat us down in this living room and was telling us about the history of the crime and everything, and that was pretty cool, and I think she did a good job. She had she sort did. of a, a genuine feel to her, you know, yeah, she has she some did. credibility when she sits there and tells you this history of the town and stuff. So all that stuff is very cool. I don't really believe that anything cool is going to happen in the house tonight. <laughs> Famous last so, words. So yeah, maybe I'm setting myself up to be the skeptical guy who gets it in the, the worst possible way. The but <laughs> uh, Josh, uh, we're down here at the <laughs> cellar. Um, yeah, this is... Yeah. Something bad's gonna happen to Josh down here tonight. <laughs> I can already tell. All right, we are in the upstairs of the barn, and as you can see, they have movie theater seats set up here. And this is like straight out of the ring. They have this old TV with VHS tapes everywhere. Uh, show me a good VHS tape, Steve. Sightings, what we got? The Heartland Ghost. Sightings was an awesome show. Sightings. I know. I used to watch that on Fox. Paranormal Boogie. Paranormal Boogie. That's happening tonight. I Benny think. Hill. A coffin? <laughs> what? Commando is that a coffin? What is that? It's a coffin. It is a coffin. Oh. Yeah. She said there was like activity. In the she said there's activity everywhere. Yeah, but this this place isn't original. This tape, I don't know if you guys know, it just has a bunch of notes written all over it. Um, uh, April twenty seventh, two thousand one, Blue Room. By left leg and chest at end of bed. Uh, May twenty, May second, oh one. Oh my Children's God. bedroom. You know what we needed to do if we would have known this was here, Jeff. We would put a VHS copy of a Serbian film just in there somewhere. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> and then this. just you can't see it. There's a bunch of little mini notes of ghost sightings on the tape. I'm putting it in. Yeah, put it in, Steve. Let's see what happens. What is this? What is this? Uh, there is a DVD player on this, guys. You might notice it says DVD. Hey. I mean, I'm not calling our friend stupid. <laughs> All right, and you can check, I don't know if the viewers can see this, but every piece of wood in this place is pretty much covered with people who's written their names on there. Eric Benson. Look at this. Oh my god. What the f- I mean, am I going to die in seven days if I watch this? I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> you're you're going to look like that chick in seven days. I don't even want to know if- <laughs> there can always be porn. Laura Bennett. Is there volume? 
Seven Darwin days. Interview. Seven, seven days. Seven days. If, if I was in this tape, I would make sure to say that just to fuck with me. God, I almost want to make something now and come back here and just drop it off or something. Just drop it off. How many people that stay here and I don't know. The, the videotape, she just has a I bunch of notes more written in, in like styles <laughs> for font. Just like a whole paragraph written on the tape. Uh-huh. Well, let's get action here. Well, this chick is boring, so I'm going to fast forward. And she just brutally massacred on the bed. <laughs> From the house. Let's just live here, guys. I kind of like it. We do need to get a, some sort of black marker or something, though. Rather than English. Casey's might have something like that. Yeah, we should definitely hit up Casey's. Just a little bit, yeah, before I get started. Yeah, here we go. Facebook, what? the impact of reason. Buster Casey at Facebook.com. Shout out to uh, Buster Casey. <coughs> I have not edited these photos in any way. The rain has stopped. As you can see, it's still pretty bad looking outside. This is uh, the Axe Murder House and oh cool we have to give everybody by the uh, by the actual sign and stuff too. Yeah whatever. I think everybody seems to be down because it's like in the middle of the town but I don't see that as a big deal an issue. Because the lady did tell us that well, the windows yeah. were open and people were probably screaming and neighbors didn't even hear or care. So <laughs> the thing, the point is, like, even if there were ghosts here, like, potential safety is like right there, or right there. Or well, right there, potential or safety right would be running to your car in the middle of nowhere and driving away too. I mean, no, because ghosts ghosts can you know disable engines. Apparently, they can't like keep me from going to house. What in what movie does a ghost disable the engine of a in, car? In, in every movie where people try to, every horror movie where people try to get into a, a car and it doesn't crank. You think that the implication there is that the ghost has disabled well, clearly, the car? Yeah. No, I thought it was it, just it, it happens them encountering to, misfortune. It at happens that too many times. It's yeah. got to be ghosts. Well, I thought I think it's a cliche more than a. It's engine ghost. Okay, just trust me on this. Considering walking yeah. down the downtown. This guy still looks list. fairly, fairly evil. Yeah, I know. I guess we can check yet? what it's supposed to be like. What do you think, Josh? Frightened. Really? Yep. According to that letter, in about two hours, some serious shit's gonna go down. Okay. I don't know, man. I'll have to go to the play. God. Half hour in the house by yourself. I, yeah. Uh, skeptics gonna go first? I'll go first. I don't care. I'll go second. I'm... <laughs> I, I hope I get knocked across the room. That'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> special goal. Suzanne, what are your initial thoughts about the Axe Murder House? Um, I'm just not really impressed at this point. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to be optimistic. <laughs> All these wet blankets around here. No, I, say I mean, I'm, I'm optimistic. I mean, it's cool. I mean, we can pack up and go. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want, if that's what you want. I'm with you. Like this is fun. It's gonna be fun, yeah. No, I, fun. I, don't, I, I might be on the side of the guy you were talking about as far as staying till 8 o'clock in the morning. Seems like a little bit of a stretch. Unless some serious shit goes down in there and that iron hits me in the fucking head, <laughs> then I might be like, all right, let's stay till 8 because I'm curious. But <laughs> To see if I die. <laughs> to see if I die. So, Steve. we have access to Casey's Country Lane, wherever that is, and Velisca Foods, which sounds like a grocery store. Steve, are you moving that, or is the ghost moving that? Ghost oh, shit, guys. Steve, you smoke those cigarettes, or do you smoke those cigarettes? Because I don't smoke. And right now, <laughs> DJ. What's up? One of the many people of Dead Lantern. DJ's Productions. Right DJ is in the bathroom taking a massive shit right now. DJ, yeah. give, give us an update on your poop adventure. Um, right now I've had three farts and I'm playing Fruit Ninja. And I think okay. there's a poo behind those farts. I just don't know yet until I look in the toilet. Have any ghosts in the toilet tickled your ass yet? Uh, no, my balls need tickling, Matt. So I think the only way they're going to get tickled is manually. <laughs> All right, picking back up on our Velisca Axe Murder adventure. Uh, we decided to go exploring Velisca, and of course uh, it started pouring again. So we sort of ran for shelter, and we're now <laughs> under this sort of structure, waiting for it to stop raining. No ghosts yet. <laughs> Dead lantern, over and out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, there's hail. What are you planning to do? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the slide. Do it, Steve, do it. 
This is a stupid idea. There goes Steve. Walking with a purpose. He likes the rain. He likes the hail. He likes being hit by things. He can't figure it out. It's, it's for little kids, Steve. Come on, buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's going. Oh, I thought he was going head first. Woo! Oh, Steve. Oh. <laughs> oh, It's probably about seven o'clock. Uh, we're still waiting for it to get dark. It stopped raining, so I'm gonna sort of open this a little bit so you guys can see what the X murder house looks like inside. You have an air conditioner, which is nice, which is running from the outside. There's no actual electricity in the house, but this is the two little girls' bedroom. These are the first, first ones that were found dead. A uh, neighbor came over here, opened up this door, Found the girls dead in this bed right here, right beside each other. They had a blanket over their face, and the creepy thing is, is the blanket, when the cops found them, the killer had stayed long enough where the blanket did not actually have any blood soaked in it or anything like that. This is the living room. So the actual neighbor came over, he used a key, came in this room immediately. He was like, wow, okay, something weird's going on. Came in here found the little girls dead on the bed. Crackers are not that safe. That's a legitimate book. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, taste one of these. No, I don't want to taste one of those. It says it's savory, but it's not. What is it? it? They're crackers that are Anything savory. You, anytime you put something on my face and say taste it, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so just get out of my face. Oh, I'll show you. So we're going up the stairs, and so when the cops came up the stairs, they found more little kids. Or was it the, no, it was the parents that were dead in this bed. We found the parents dead in here. Here, wait. Oh, no. Now you're, now you're possessed. Now you're, now, now you're going to die tonight. <laughs> or they're going to possess you and then you're going to kill us. I'm going to kill everybody else. This is the closet. Yeah, those beds are fragile. This is the closet. My flashlight. DJ's playing creepy, scary music down there. <laughs> so, and what did, did they say? There was four little kids up here? Four little kids in this room. Yeah, four kids were killed in this room. I got the carpets ripped out in there. I wonder if that's That's a ghost original. trying to get out. No, that's like original carpet. <laughs> creepy piano music. The attic is right over here. This is where allegedly the killer hid out. Those windows look like the um, Amityville Horror windows. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That's right. So tonight, when it's all dark and spooky and we can't see any light, I'm going to come in here and try to get these ghosts. Yep. 
room oh, dog by Yeah, and that was the other weird thing about this. All the mirrors in this in this half place were covered up. So almost like the killer didn't want to want to see himself or see what he was doing. I don't know. <clears throat> So yeah, we should make sure this is closed and actually see if the ghost opens it tonight. So issuing a challenge right now. Yes. Ghost. Now does that actually have a knob that has it turned or does it just push open if you breathe on it? Doesn't look like the knob. Uh, yeah, see, but I'm not really going to buy it because that's like no effort. Okay, but I mean. Hold it all, we could turn off the air. I mean, that's a ghost, Jeff. <laughs> that's a ghost. It's getting oh. colder in here. <laughs> um, there's a cold spot. You guys' souls feel bad? <laughs> <laughs> um, My soul's agnostic. Like, for example, Steve, yes. a draft would maybe blow this open, whatever, yeah. like this. Whoa. But if the, if this thing, if I'm like, if I'm looking at this door and it goes like... Yeah, obviously. I'm going to think, okay, that's a ghost. Um, that's that's my line right there. That, that's I think we're sitting on the floor. You know what's great about yeah. ghosts? They don't exist. All right. I don't know about anybody else. Uh, it could be midnight. <laughs> it's it's not quite nine yet. Uh, we are we were upstairs playing Uno. We've decided because uh, we are all, are all we are all the we are all old and have aches and pains that we cannot sit on the hardwood floors anymore. Um, and so yeah, we're just sort of hanging out. Still no ghost yet, but it's not actually dark it's out. Later. So I still have high hopes. I'm still in good spirits. All right, so we're here at the Velisca Axe Murder House. Uh, careful, Tyler. Buddy, Tyler. <laughs> our buddy Josh almost killed our lights. Uh, Josh is Josh. Tyler, uh, Tyler, Josh, Josh. Why don't you tell us what was happening to you when you were in the chair? No, no, the first time um, I was sitting in that chair playing Uno, getting fucked. <laughs> And something poked me twice. You were having sex while you were playing Uno? That's I was funny. getting poked by something. All right, Josh says he was getting poked. No, jo Josh said, wasn't he the one that said that he needed a grope or a scratch to make him believe that the ghosts are real? I believe I got a forehead overbite. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. these guys have broken out the... Uh, this is the electro or EV meter or whatever. I'm going to go up into the mo uh, reportedly the most haunted oh. area of this house. And, and, uh, and so, if it what yeah. explain <laughs> I, how it works? Okay, so I press this button, and lights happen. And if it goes red, Josh jumps out the window. Yeah, right now it's this. It's staying on this green light, and if it goes up, that means we got a ghost. So right now it's just. So green. wait, that means it, we have a ghost, or that means uh, no, red is a ghost. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, how do we know that? That's what all the colors that's are that in means. between? What, what because, DJ? What what okay. does what does a, a milligals meter? Don't mean? touch it. This meter doesn't mean anything. It's bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, agree, I agree, but I, I want just. But what they're it's supposed to mean is it's supposed to detect like electrical activities yeah. that are causing like ghosts. <laughs> because <laughs> ghosts are electromagnetic. Yeah, like powder. everybody. Like, you see that. powder, right? It's like yeah. powder. It's so, exactly like powder. So what I'm saying is uh, there are no ghosts. This is complete bullshit, and we're about to waste some time with we're gonna toys. See. We're going to see what happens. And oh, so I got the temperature. Oh, the temperature oh, oh, he got a Home Depot infrared thermometer that we're going to go point at things. Thank you, Lisa, for providing these awesome toys for us. Let's go check it out real quick. Are you, uh, let's go check it out. Ah, Jesus Christ, DJ. <laughs> Is that? That's not a ghost, guys. That's supposed to go up when we walk by it. It's, it's a, a motion it's sensor. A motion sensor. So let's go. <laughs> okay. That was awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So I am about to enter the room where uh, four little kids were brutally murdered. They had their heads smashed in by a uh, by the blunt side of the axe, and I've got my my meter. And here, here. measures exactly dick. I'm gonna see how cold it is in here. Okay, so I, mean, I just pointed it, I swear to God, I just pointed it at the closet. Did you pull the trigger? Yes, I did. <laughs> so what? I'll um, point it over there. Okay, get this on tape. And it's 73. 73. And then when I pointed it at the closet, it's 73 still. It's still 73. <laughs> that, that's, that's fucking impressive, guys. <laughs> you operated it wrong, dude. I pushed it and All right. it 32. Okay. I'm going So in. here we are in the creepy little girl's closet. God, if I anybody shuts me in this closet, I'll scream like a girl. So here we are with the, the people that died. And as you can see, 
this uh this little girl here had a monster forehead. I am not doing any of the teasing, by the way. Hey, let's go in the attic quick, guys. All right. Maybe. Whoa. Josh kicked the door. I just want it shut. <laughs> no open doors. Oh, check it out. They got a little... When you hear things at night, it's because they have wind chimes where it's drafty. Oh. That's... <laughs> Darn. Alright, here we are in... It's just a steady attic. 71, guys. Okay. Well, we're not past midnight yet. That's when all the ghosts come out. Oh, right. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that all ghosts come out after midnight. So, right now, we're good. We're... We're not do, do you think that's the wash bucket that the killer washed himself out in? It's obviously the wash bucket. <laughs> All right, uh, um, this is a quick break from this game of Uno that we've been playing for over two for hours. Hour. Uh, it's probably yeah. It's past midnight now. We started this one Uno game, and we've gone through this huge deck at least probably three times now, right? Yeah, this is the third time, I think, or fourth, maybe, I don't know. Suzanne is on Uno. This could be it. I did have a yellow plus two, but now I have to draw off the top of the deck. So, we will see. Uh-oh, this could be it, guys. This could be the end of this, like, two-hour-long, one like, single game of Uno. Wow, this is bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, he's got a uh, draw two. two. Off the top there. A green draw two. What is Suzanne? Oh. It doesn't matter. I keep, if I didn't have that, I Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, more than doubling my hand size. Draw, I'm curious. Like, Josh, you know, he's a very sad fellow. I mean, he's... He, I mean, Josh he has had a rough night. He has yeah. had a really rough night. I mean, there's been a lot of ass talk tonight. Here, Steve. Look at that shot. That's a good shot. That's <laughs> a great shot. Boom. <laughs> okay, oh, it big, is. Oh, big middle fan. Okay, before we go in, it's almost one o'clock. Like the cream in the cookie. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Uh, everyone else that came with us pussed out. Yeah. DJ's sleeping it's, already. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah. But. DJ's sleeping. Steve, I mean Steve, of all people, he just crashed on the floor, and Suzanne's sleeping. So now it's up to us to find the ghost, guys. Yeah. It's up to us. So now we're gonna head into the, I guess the barn. Where they told us there's ghostly activity in here, but we don't really believe that, right? No, I don't. Yeah. Of all the places. I mean, nothing here. happened here no. other than, I guess, the places in proximity to the. Okay, and Josh is going to lead the way mm -mm. in the dark up the stairs. Yeah. No? Okay. Well, Jeff will. I Jeff's will a man. Us. Jeff will lead us. Jeff is a total man. I have, I have a, a bottle of liquid courage in the fridge as well. So <laughs> I have a vagina. Yeah, watch it. I bang my head down. Uh, I found this very intriguing because. Oh, ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my ass? <laughs> yeah, it takes up the whole frame, dude. <laughs> uh, the, is the, yeah, the, woman was, the woman was telling us that, oh, we have a TV and what? a DVD player upstairs. And uh, we came up and checked it out. And it's this, like, you know, it's an old TV, as you can see here, and a VCR and a DVD player. But there's all these tapes, just VHS tapes with, like, uh, no labels on them or sort of cryptic labels, labels describing what appears to be other people's experiences here. And I found this tableau to be very, very interesting. Yeah, it is cool. Ooh, 62. These, these Triscuits we brought with us, those are not haunted Triscuits. <laughs> haunted, haunted Triscuits. triscuits. Uh, and as you can see, all the, uh, the people that have stayed here, you know, they write their names, they write little messages and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. That's cool. Um, and if you can see, I think, there we go. There's Matt, DeadLantern.com, Jeff, and the other guys have not signed it or don't want to sign it. <laughs> These are fucking crazy. These are hanging above the theater chairs yeah. in here. That's okay. not nice. dangerous. Oh, shit, guys. Look, 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 look. Check it out. Oh, it, was just, it just went up to red. Look. look. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Get over here, Josh. Get over here. I'm coming. There's a ghost. God, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> right there. Ghost. See that? that? <laughs> That's just for real. I'm fucking leaving. You got that on camera? I got it, yeah. Oh shit, it's gone. Now what is this measuring? Uh, <laughs> the president. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Electrodes. Guys, uh, I mean, uh, viewers, we are in the presence of a ghost. <laughs> I mean, this is proof. <laughs> <laughs> Ask it to do something. I mean, this thing, I mean, and I recommend you go to Toys R Us and buy one of these <laughs> things. Because this, 
I mean, we were not seeing this in the house. Maybe no. You, maybe can this it, is where everything's haunted. Can us. it move a chair? Can it sit down in the chair and watch yeah. a movie? Uh, Josh, say something to the ghost. Try to get it to do something. Uh, sit down in one of the chairs. Move a chair. Kick a bat in the balls. <laughs> Perhaps it's like uh, that Patrick Swayze ghost movie, and um, the ghost has to learn how to actually move yeah. shit. I mean, it's, it's, lived, it's been dead for a hundred years. It should have learned something by okay, now. Okay, well, we know this is haunted. It's one hundred percent factual, based on our Toys R Us. EV I feel scanner. like this thing might be a this device might be a stud finder from the hardware store, and it's just going off because we're we three are standing <laughs> here. Maybe you're the one that's haunted. Okay, well, and the ghost is gone. Okay. <laughs> Do we make it All mad? Right, wait, My go. legs just got super cold, though. <laughs> really? Yeah. Use uh, your little move. Oh, what yes, yes. I have this device. <laughs> Explain to the audience what that well, is. I don't is. actually know what it's meant to do. Like, I, I point Sorry, this. Sorry, shine your okay, light I, your face I, up. I, okay, I point Whoa, this. Look at that. Can you, you should turn that? off the television. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. Turn off all the light in here. Okay. So now it's a little darker. I have this device from... Um, Lisa. From Lisa, and you, okay, you shine this thing. It looks like a, one of those space. Like now, how do you tell if there's a ghost? And I can adjust it here from like this matrix of dots to kind of. I, I wish I would have brought some pot. <laughs> um, now if, I I understand that if I, I shine this right, and if we perceive a disturbance in this light pattern, as if something were moving in front of it, just as if one of you, a physical object, were moving in front of it. And that would indicate to us that there's a ghost here. Oh, oh, see, right here, guys. Oh, this is okay. where I'm getting Okay, it. it's right here. Can you shine it, like, right around here, Yeah, Jeff? okay, like, it's right in these seats. Maybe the ghost is... Sitting there watching sit, TV? Sitting there, and I just turned the television <laughs> off, so I'm probably agitating it. Right. Hey, man, I, I, hey, man, I was watching that sort of thing. We just want to see you. See just, you know, move a chair or something. Yeah, you go sit right there in that chair, Jeff. Me? Yeah. Here, Josh. Let me see the... Well, I'm operating this highly sensitive device. I can't do it. I, mean, yeah. I think the ghost has moved on from this point, guys. I think we sort of pissed him off by shutting yeah. off the television. Uh, perhaps we should turn it back on. Yeah. Uh, I like the glow. The, the Sir, out glow. of respect. Kind of cool, out of respect. Okay, here, I'm going to switch that was this the back deal, ghost, I am going to try to turn this television back on. All right, so, here we go. Grab this. It just appears as a blue screen. Yeah, I'm about as good as a cameraman as I'm as a director. But... <laughs> Obviously, the ghost can see sweet movies on here. Yeah, I mean, the ghost is Should obviously watching on? scrambled porn. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I mean, that's what ghosts would ghosts do. Ghosts see it heavily. Yeah. We had a little yeah. adventure as we thought we were going to run across town and find, you know, a, a cafe or something. I'm not dry yet. <laughs> and it, we got caught in a, a very heavy thunderstorm. Uh, and there was rain pouring down the street. So I'm a little bit concerned about how wet it's going to be down here. Yeah, it doesn't look wet at all. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, it looks pretty dry. Okay, there's a chair. That's obviously a plan. Somebody was murdered there. Or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> that's where people get sweet kind of caught chair. That's kind of cool. It's a good dripper chair. It is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the got some uh, loose bricks. There's probably like a skeleton back there. I don't know. Yeah. What's uh what's through that hole, Jeff? Yeah. What's in this hole? Let me just get my face right in there. Uh, Wouldn't that be awesome if a hand just popped out of there and grabbed you? I see dirt. What about this hole over here in the wall? Okay, that's like a crawl space. So let's see. Okay, we're under the house. So this is. We're under the living room right now? Or the uh, kitchen? We're under I'm the kitchen. I'm concerned about what I'm breathing. <laughs> black mold in my lungs. Death. <coughs> is it really bad in there? Well, I just. I think I got a lung full of. There's some like. There's some like spooky barbed wire back there, maybe. Uh, oh shit! Look at this, guys. Oh. I wasn't even. I'm not even touching it. It is flying off the hand. Look at that. Okay, sweet. So this is a bastion. Like, uh, there's poltergeist activity everywhere around down here. I'm not even touching like the button, and it's yeah. just going crazy. I should use the thing. Turn off yeah, your, yeah, turn off for your, sure. Turn off your flashlight. For sure. Do I have to? Yeah. Oh, you have to. Yeah, yeah. For Hold sure. on. We should close the door. No. No, okay. we, shouldn't, we shouldn't. This is awesome. This is this is like a planetarium. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Okay. You guys have a Led Zeppelin. Oh, it's like, it's it's right. <laughs> I do. No, uh, God, where is it? Where'd it go? It what? Every time you turn that light on, it runs away. Right. It doesn't okay, want so, to be okay, seen. Okay. Yeah. So. 
he doesn't want to be seen. They, they don't like this thing. Okay, it's like right around over here. It's right oh, by okay. jaw. <laughs> okay, so let me turn this off and we'll see if, you know, okay. we'll give it a second. and then Don't fuck back. with me. Alright guys, we're now entering the Velisca Axe Murder yeah. House. Now you this... will see some pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Screwing about. The pussies are not the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the lady said that there was some poltergeist activity around this. Yeah, she specifically Is someone shining a flashlight on, the, on yeah, this thing? This iron. Nothing, I'm not seeing anything the right now. One day, yeah. She says. I can almost she decapitate her. <laughs> Right. See, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything in here. She was fucking around with their white sheets. It's a bed. Let's actually go underneath. It's a, let's, it's a different bed. Though. Let's yeah, look under the bed. We should look under there. Let's look under the bed. Okay. Anything cool? Oh, there? there's a marble and like. Oh shit, that's some scary. Creepy. <laughs> What's under there? A marble, dude. <laughs> a marble? Yeah. Let's go ahead. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. It's right. Right here, right here. I don't want to be stuck in the doorway either. Okay, I'll keep moving. It's I'll push your ass out of the way. It's going on. To get somewhere else. Did you guys already look in the barn? Yeah, yeah that's, the the barn. First, that's the first time that's we ran really... into one of them. Sorry, Steve. Oh, oh, right here, guys. It just went red. Just went red. Which means what? It means ghost, duh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> don't you know I can't believe you'd ask a stupid question like that. <laughs> it means ghost. <laughs> What's going on? We're... We saw sustained. Oh, right, right here. It's, it's right there, right so when there. You say you saw a ghost. You, 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 you Steve, go to sleep. <laughs> Obviously, you're not cool like we are, so just go to sleep. Yeah. God, it was right there. We need quiet. In this we bag, in this bag of candy. In this bag. <laughs> oh, oh. It, maybe it is going for the candy. See, it just got super cold right here. It reminds here. them of like when they were alive. I'm not, put it right here, man. Oh, look, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Right look, here. look, shit. Okay, look, okay, look, okay. look. Right here. I'm not even moving. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm going to blast it. Blast it. See how... It's ha super see how cold right here. I wouldn't even fuck with anybody. It's right here, guys. It's 70. It is right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it's doing here, but... <laughs> It wants the candy. Can you move the bag of candy? Yeah. Okay. Spirits. Oh, look, it answered me. Asked a little question and it started going to red. Are you guys actually doing the EVP stuff? Yeah, totally the Steve, want. Steve, stand, come up right now and look at me. Look at this EV meter. I'm serious. No, e EVP, where you try to record voices. Uh, I've got the camera running. That's... Uh, Every time uh, Steve gets around us, it runs away. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to oh, there goes, there oh. goes, there goes, there goes. Shit, it really loves this candy. So, what, what am I supposed to be? Saying? Um, ask it a question, Steve. Um, uh, are you actually there? It went to red. See that? Did oh. you see that? Oh shit! It went, red look, means look, yes for Steve, ghosts. Look, shit! It really, really wants a piece of you. It's like right there. Blast it again. See if you got any colder. It's not. It's still a, a good seven. <laughs> Well, this is a, a mystery, folks. We have a poltergeist activity this for sure. It's warm. It's 71. It's getting hotter with Steve around. <laughs> it's getting warm. I'm going to lay down. Okay, guys. Let's move upstairs. Yeah, go fuck with DJ. And see what's going on up here. Okay. This is now the bed area. Shush. That's Steve, right? Now this this is the place right here. This is uh, the closet. Yeah, specifically pointed out is yeah where everybody says that the ghosts Texas, are. So let's go ahead and go in here. Yeah. Close the door. Turn on the lasers. See what happens. Maybe it should be nice. See, okay, I see it's funny. Hi. Over here. Okay. Watch out! There are some nails. Shit, walls and stuff. Okay, now I'm getting Toys. nothing. Oh, oh, got a little bit on the meter. Some black play doh. That's kind of creepy. X Wing Fighters has those ghosts. Mm. Enjoy. Oh, there's change in here. Yeah, that, see, that's, that's oh, like. Oh, shit, guys. It, it was going off. Where is it? Ghosts. Ah, oh, see how you guys go. Shut, shut, shut the door. You shut that door. The ghost should shut the door. Well, the ghosts probably can't. 
ask it a question. Every time we ask a question, it seems to go off. Uh, can you open the door? You're making me look stupid. <laughs> open it. Please? It's not listening to me. It's going off a little bit. Well, there we go. Okay. Something. If you're in here... They're probably maybe I'm too high. I mean, they were tired. They're kids. Yeah. Right? Maybe I need Keep to be a little, maybe I need to be a little lower. Let's see. They weren't like midgets. Well, yeah, they were okay, children. dude. I mean, here, here. Why don't you take this, Josh? I don't know. You, you take you take things. this. You take this. I'll take one of the flashlights. Let's shut everything off. Real light. Yeah. Let's shut off the lights. Yeah. yeah. Don't All fuck right. with me. Close as much. All right, shut off the lights. Oh, fucking this is stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so DJ, you've been up here for a couple hours. Have you noticed any sort of paranormal activity? Um. Yeah. There's this one ghost that was like, "Hey, can you guys be a little quieter? I'm trying to sleep." <laughs> Heather, Heather said that uh, most of the paranormal activity takes place between two and three, so we might be a little early yet. But uh, I feel pretty positive so far that we've recorded sure something. Ghost is hanging out in the attic right I'll feel now. really gypped and I want my money back if I don't see a ghost. Tonight. Let's go find some gorbs in the uh, in the attic. DJ, we will see you again in a couple of hours. Hopefully, <laughs> no promises. Go ahead, Josh. No, I don't want to go first. I'll go first. I'm the cream in the cookie. Be, now be very careful because there's nails okay, in the so ceiling. This is, this is, I guess, the attic. Creepy chair in there, which is a nice little touch. Creepy shit. Whoa! What ghost? Was ghost shriek, obviously. Oh, you put it in there? I didn't put it anywhere. Where DJ put it? Well, I'm looking at. It. We have this device here that we don't know how it got here. Obviously, <laughs> a ghost moved it. It was by the stairs. Yeah, I didn't put this in there. I. I can't explain how that got in there. Either. And that's total truth. I think he just broke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounded pretty <laughs> sad. That? You said that. I was like, oh. I'm a little uh, concerned about the floor here. Here's some weird blue thing. Oh. That might be what was like. That? Oh, the door shut. The what door just shut, guys. Yeah, like it actually that. happened. The yeah. door shut. It was open and now it's shut. <coughs> um. And a few readings by the candy. A lot of readings by the candy, actually. That's probably the... Kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The kids are going yeah, for the candy. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Okay. They heard us talking about the candy. Right. And it came right here. <laughs> I have candy in my pocket. Candy is this. Year. What we should do is, yeah, we should go get some, like, ding-dongs and offer them to them. <laughs> load, of, like, load my pockets with whole load. <laughs> Now we got this mirror here. Can we see any? Oh, there's like tic tac toe on the oh, mirror, guys. So that's kind of fucking creepy, honestly. So, what do you guys think so far? We've been uh, we've been searching for ghosts. It's our first sort of run through. Uh, Josh, what are your initial impressions? Uh, so far, the ghosts are making me look really fucking stupid. Cause I'm the only one so far that has bought this ghost shit, and uh, I wonder. I want to believe it's there's ghosts here. Do you feel, uh, based on what we've seen and experienced, that uh, you're a little closer to um, believing it, or do you are you feeling let down right now? A little let down. I've been I was poked twice though during Uno. I swear to God, something poked me. It might have been a fly. DJ's out there being a retard. Jeff. Uh, do you feel that anything you've seen so far is sort of swaying you from your idea that there's no such thing as ghosts in this well, house? Obviously, um, when I came here I was quite skeptical, but now that I've been using this uh, high precision device, it's obvious that there's like a hundred ghosts in here. Yeah, I mean... I, I'm kind of sold now, I, I don't know, I mean... This place is lousy with them. Yeah. Lousy with ghosts. Alright, it's now two o'clock, and... Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is when. The witching hour. This is it. Is two o'clock the witching hour? That's what I understand. I have no idea. I'm ignorant of, of the witching hour. I thought it was three. I've heard it's two o'clock. I've heard it's three o'clock. Mm. 
But regardless, this is when most people say the paranormal activity actually happens. Like this is the peak hours. Yeah, of we it, may so. have been too early. Yeah, so we're gonna go on the uh, the walkthrough again, second time around, and we're gonna see what's down here. So, Josh, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Okay. Now, Steve, Suzanne, and DJ are all sound asleep inside the Axe Murder House. Um, right now, we're gonna be very, very quiet, and we're gonna walk in there. We're gonna try to not disturb our friends. Yeah. They will react poorly, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, this is what they signed up for, yeah. so. We're in the kitchen. I'm always sensing any activity, Josh. None at all. None at all. Ghosts are being bitches. Bitchy ghosts. Oh my god, something's moving in there. <laughs> is Steve masturbating? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a mirror? Yeah. Why don't you pull that cloth down and see no. what's there? Well, the second run through so far has been fairly disappointing. Mm. Um, this, this is what was supposed to be happening around now. Yeah, our instruments appeared to be more reactive the first time, which was and earlier. There's not even a door to slam in the parents' room. Now, what I'm curious about is they say that the electronic equipment often either stops working or goes a little bit haywire. It's a ghost! Oh god! Oh god! It's like magic or something. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I was saying is that uh, the electronic equipment obviously goes on the fritz and whatnot. Yeah. So, what keeps the electronic equipment that the ghost hunters buy from Toys R Us? from also going on the fritz. Yeah, or how can they trust any of it ever? Yeah, if right. One of the things that's true is that the ghost can interfere with the equipment, then how is your equipment ever meaningful? Right. Okay, well. This sucks. Uh, one last, I guess, attempt. Why don't you put on your laser? Yeah, okay, okay. See okay. If turn off your uh, flash right there. See if anything happens Let's, with the uh, laser. rave a bit. Right. Okay. So if I were a, the, the ghost of a child, I might be over here playing with... Oh, oh, my laser's spritzing out. Oh, shit. They're, they're, as we said, they're interfering with our equipment, maybe. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Uh, put the EV meter over there. See if anything's yeah. happening. Yeah, right over here. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, yeah. It's going on? We've been here 10 hours. Uh, you uh, came in here as sort of... The, the believer, you, you wanted to believe, like Mulder from the X-Files. Um, ten hours in, what are your thoughts about the Axe Murder House now? I don't want to say anything like piss them off. Go ahead. I mean, unfiltered here. But... You've given up? You've lost all hope? I, I still want to hang out in the house by myself. Jeff, mm. um, we've done two passes now, a couple hours apart. Now what are your thoughts about the Velisca Axe Murder House? Uh, I think that, yeah, there's there's nothing there, I don't I don't believe. And I all, all I keep thinking about is all the people who claim that they saw something there, and it makes me... You know, I don't like to disrespect people or, you know, say harsh things about people. If, if people are into this, then that's great. But it makes me think that all these people are, are 
fools and liars and be like, <laughs> you didn't you didn't come here and see anything. I don't believe you. And that, you know, I don't want to. Yeah. And you know, be cruel to people that way. But sure. yeah, I just don't. But buy you might it. as well be. Yeah, I don't buy it. Okay. I don't buy it. Um, the Dead Lantern business card is on the wall. So any of you who come here into the future, be sure to check out DeadLantern.com and the world famous Splattercast. And uh, for now, this is Dead Lantern signing off from Velisca. DJ, you went to sleep fairly early last night. 11.30. 11.30. I didn't get to ask you what you thought. What your, your overall final impressions of the Axe Murder House? Uh, what's, what's going through your head? Um, they should probably like clean this stuff out of here and just turn this into like a two bedroom, one bath family home so that people can actually utilize the space properly. Is this anything you'd ever want to come back to again? Uh, no. No, no, this is a big <laughs> waste of money. <laughs> There's no value in this other than hanging out with friends. And I did enjoy hanging out with friends, but uh... You could do that for free at home. Yep, I could do that for free or we could have got a nice motel with a bubble bath and a soft bed that's made out of love. Alright, well, let's, let's pack up. So Suzanne... You're, Ditto. You're... <laughs> any, any other additional thoughts on the Axe Murder House? I mean, you were very excited to go, you've experienced it. What now? Um, this place is not haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Jeff, it's mm -hmm. 6 o'clock. Um, obviously, we all survived the Axe Murder House. Now, you actually slept in the most haunted place. Uh, I did. You slept in the children's closet. Uh huh. Did anything happen at all? No, no, not at all. Did not even wake you up? Uh, I heard tremendous snoring. I'm not sure who it was. It was just one of the <laughs> one of the people who does it. Loudest snoring I've probably ever heard in my life. That was that was something else. Really? Um, I noticed that uh, when I was getting up just now that there was this piece of like metal or tin or something that had been used on the floor that was bent up and was pointing. So I'm probably very lucky that I didn't like hack my foot open on that <laughs> sort of where I was sleeping. So I kind of <laughs> evaded that. That would have really sucked. I maybe the ghost just, protected you. Yeah, maybe the ghost protected me from cutting myself on this, this <laughs> piece of metal in the, in the closet. Right? Yeah. So, your final thoughts on, on the Axe Murder House uh, this morning, I mean, we, we talked a little bit about it last night. Any different change of opinion or anything in the morning? No, here? no. And I'm doing this thing where I'm, like, trying to emphasize that I don't have a bad attitude, and I had a good time, and I think it was a lot of fun to come here with friends and everything, but the house itself, and, like, it, it sucks. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's, there's nothing here, nothing really interesting is going to happen you're paying all this money and you just come and just kind of lay around on a dirty floor. It's, nah, it's, it's not that cool. But I had a good time. So. Sure. That's, that's what counts in yeah, the end. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right.